connecting cards moving moving this way and headed straight for the post so this is one kilometer away measured by jim so if it's measured by jim jim's at rest compared to the distance so one kilometer is the proper length and this guy sends a flash of light from the car and so what's the closest time that it takes the flash of light to reach the post as measured by Jim. So speed equals distance over time, time equals distance over speed. And since it's by Jim, uh, the distance, because this is measured by, measured, measured by Jim, is a thousand meters because it's one kilometer. And the speed of light, once it leaves the car, the speed of light will be C. So the speed is three times 10 to the eight. And if you put that into your calculator, you get C. And that's pretty much it for that question. I hope that helped. Uh, yeah, so question two. Anna, so, uh, measures, so Susanna measures the distance between herself and the post at exactly the same time that she sends flash of light. So Susanna's in the car and she measures this distance at the exact same time that she sends the light and it's asking for the closest distance that she measures the light. So if she's at the point that she sends the light, L0 we know is uh, 1K, so 1,000 meters. And if Susanna's the one measuring the distance, then she will be L because she's the one who will feel the relativistic effects because she's not at rest compared to the distance that she's measuring. So we know the formula for this is this one minus 0 0.9 squared, um, 0 0.9 just because it's 0 0.9 C. So if we divide that by C, like the Cs will cancel. So it's just that if you put that into your calculator, you get, um, you actually get like four, three, five point eight nine eight meters but yeah it's just a question three so this time vicky is observing a race car she stands exactly between the two posts and at the time that she passes oh sorry so the driver sends two flashes of light backwards and forwards and she's traveling at 0 0.9 and it's asking which of the following best describes when the light reaches Vicky. So we know it's going to be C because as soon as the light leaves the car, its speed is C and the distance, because she's standing midway, the distance will be the same. So time equals distance over speed. The distance and the speed are the same. So the time should also be the same. Which of the following is best description of proper length? So trial and error. So the length measured when an absorbed observer is at the same location it's not true because you could be at the same location and moving length measured when by an observer at rest relative to the object that is true but we'll check the other ones the length measured when both ends the length when both ends of the object are measured at the same time <laughs> doesn't really make sense but no the length measured with a proper standard measuring stick that's definitely not it so question five, um, two physics students are doing an experiment to test F equals MA. And one carriage is moving at 0.9C and the other is moving at 10 meters per second, but it's deaccelerating. And which is the result? So for this one, we know Einstein's postulate, one of them states that the laws of motion are true for inertial frames. So if it's inertial, it can't be um, accelerating. So if it's not accelerating, it can't be carriage B. <clears throat> so we, <clears throat> so, so we can't find, we can't use Newton's second law for the second carriage. So the only one it will work for is carriage A. Oh uh, yeah, because carriage A is moving at a constant velocity. So it's not, it's not accelerating. That's why. Question six. So a robot is headed 
towards the planet uh, in the hot system at 0.85 C and observers notice the, the time it takes. Observers on surface of the planet observe it at a time when it is distance X above. So it's distance X above the surface. And the time it takes to reach the planet bar measured by the observers is this. So if it's measured by the observers, then then um, not at rest relative to the the robot that's moving. So this is T, not T0. Um, and which of the following is closest to the distance X? So distance equals speed times time. Speed we know is 0.85 C. And five, it's 784. Okay, so this is uh, L0 because it's proper time. I mean, proper length, but this is measured by the rope, uh, not the robots, the observers. So that's why we use those two together. Turn to the negative six, and if you do that, you just get B. So question seven, which of the following is the best estimate? Time is measured by the robot, so by the robot is T0. So T0 is T on gamma. So T is 784 times 10 to the minus six times square root of one minus 0.85 squared. And if you put that into a calculator, you just get A. So which of the following best describes the time it takes for the robot to descend to the planet as measured by the robot when compared to the observers. So A, they're both measurements of proper time. It's not true because only the robot's at rest compared to its movement. Neither are measure of proper time. No, the robot's is. So we, can, we don't really have to go through them. We know D is the answer. So which of the following describes what follows directly from the measurements of the Michelson-Morley experiment? So uh, what that was measuring was like whether the ether exists. And they did that by measuring um, light at different orientations at different times of the year. So A, the speed of light on the earth depends on the direction in which it's measured traveling. That's not what it found. That's, that's what they thought it was going to do, but it's not what it did. Um, the speed of light near the surface is the same. That is what happened. C, Earth travels. That's not true because the ether doesn't exist. Ether may exist, but it's not detectable. We don't, that's not really the purpose of the experiment. So we just, that's not right. So muons and antimuons are antiparticles. They have the same mass. When they meet, they destroy each other. And two, that's important, two of these are, found, are formed. Um, if two particles are effectively stationary, then the photons have a total energy of this. So what's the closest mass to a single muon? So if two photons are uh, 3.8, and okay, so <laughs> two, so a muon and an anti-muon meet, and then they make two photons. So that means uh, one photon is the energy released by one muon. So we divide this by two, we get 1.69 times 10 to the negative 11. And then you can equate that to uh, mc squared. And then m is just, you get b. So particle accelerator, mass of this, accelerating from rest to high speed, and the total work is this. What's the closest to the final speed? So for this, I used, so E, oh, like M zero C squared equals M zero C squared plus EK. So this is like E total equals E rest plus EK. That's what that is. And if you rearrange it to find EK, you get gamma minus one M zero C squared. So for this, Oh, okay. Um, it's telling you that M0 is this one, because that's when it's 
accelerated from rest. Um, and the work done is 7.71. So 7.71. So uh, the work done is EK because that's the energy that they're doing to like increase it to the speed, to a high speed. So 7.714 times 10 to the 10 equals gamma minus one. Uh, MC squared. Uh, so M zero is six point six four four two four three times ten to the eight squared, and basically, ready. You get gamma and eight. Scientists who done a to rolling in a vehicle be So the beam's coming out at U relative to the vehicle. So that's not when like it's relative. So when it's still attached to the vehicle, it would be U. But when it comes out, it would be something out, something else. So which of the following best estimates the speed of the dart and the light flash as measured by a stationary observer? So the easiest thing to look at would be this column. Speed of light is the same. So it, like relative because once it leaves the rifle, it no longer has the velocity of the car. So it's not this and it's not this. So it's either A or D. And the speed of the dart relative to a stationary observer. So the dart's already traveling at a high speed and then it gets shot out with another speed. So the total end speed um, seen by someone who's not moving at all would be the addition of those two. So that's why it's A. And yeah, that's it.